So the findings of the study, I think that before talking to the findings, I think that it's important to focus on the population that we have analyzed. Uh, there are a few features that I consider that they are interesting and is the first study that is just done in really critically ill patients because we are talking about patients that they are under invasive mechanical ventilation so that means that they have a tube in their throats and we are using a breathing machine, a life support machine. So I think that the interest in these studies is really in this particular population. So we are really trying to analyze the impact of an antibiotic that is in this case the study drug that is a Keftolos and Tazobactam uh, compared to meropenem. Meropenem is a carbapenem drug that we use as a last resource in critical care medicine and the study is a randomized controlled trial, uh, double blind, double dummy because it was some adjustment for the renal dose depending on the drugs and we randomized patients to one arm that was meropenem or the other arm that was Keftolos and Tazobactam. I think that it's interesting to say that in this study there was some R&D done before starting because this drug has been approved for other indications already like urinary tract infections but probably the patients that they are critically ill and when we are trying to hit an infection in the chest they might need a different dose so this is the reason that in this study we were using three grams of keftolosan tazobactam compared to the previous trials done with keftolosan that was 1.5 grams so i presented today the data about pathogens um, positive pathogens in the study so the study about the clinical outcomes including all the patients with or without positive pathogen is going to be presented on Monday and today I presented this data so we had to uh, we split the results in two parts one is those that they are clinically uh, available and the other is the micro eradication so in the clinical available we have seen that is comparable to the study drug, the two drugs, they were working similar. So there is, is a non-inferiority design in order to assess the, um, the action of this, of this drug uh, compared to meropenem. And I think that this drug was mainly a drug that is a very powerful anti-pseudomonal drug. So the main interest was anti-pseudomonal, so the pseudomonal effect, and it was uh, comparable to meropenem, that is the drug that we do use in general when we have a patient with pseudomonas. But also when we analyze other populations like patients that they have enterobacteria SAI or we have ESVL, so that is a major threat in the last years because the increasing resistance is, is a major concern, we have seen that it works pretty similar to meropenem. So it's not that these just for pseudomonas, but also for other type of bacteria. When we analyze the micro eradication, I think that we have seen some interesting results. And I think that in both uh, the micro ITT and the micro available results, they are quite comparable with uh, the study drug Keftolosan and Meropenem. And interestingly, with pseudomonas, we had a favorable effect, effect with uh, keftolosan, up to 70, more than 70% of response compared to meropenem that was roughly 50 something percent. So I think that there is an effect there with pseudomonas because we knew that this is a very potent anti-pseudomonal drug. And again, when we analyze these other bacteria, because when we are treating a patient with a, with a pneumonia, we really don't know what we are treating. We know that there is an infection, but the implementation of rapid techniques is not in the clinical daily practice every day, uh, nowadays, uh, I mean. And we use broad spectrum and, of course, empirical treatment. So we need to be sure that we are also covering other types of bacteria, such as Enterobacteria CI and especially ESBL. And we have seen that it's comparable. So I think that these results are results that they are going to help us to uh, understand that there is a, a good drug for 
resistant bacteria, including ESBL, and a very powerful anti pseudomonal drug. So I think that we are going to have something different uh, for our antibiotic choice when we are dealing with a critically ill patient with pneumonia.